Yeah, Pasa YouTube, Caribbean here tonight with some to see Opera Omnia JP video. Today we're gonna go ahead and react to Ursula's character trailer release. Scheduled to, and her event scheduled to release later in about four to five hours from now, depending on where we are. And we're gonna go ahead and delve into this video. We're gonna break it down. We're gonna go ahead as well as break down the moot the kit, break down what her role could potentially be. Uh, my guess from before anything else, and this was a video I was working on before I decided to do a complete overhaul and failed to finish it on time because of said overhaul I was working on. I'm hoping that Ursula is more along the lines of, from her lore, more of a support based character. Uh, is based what I read on the lore. Um, also to expand upon what Payne's LD introduced recently. Which was more along the lines of having team composition actually matter. Where when in Payne's case. Where you had debuffers releasing. Helping Payne release a bunch of debuff auras. Or buffers to, get, to grab buff auras to, to the party. Mind you these are effectively... Burst level auras that Pain gave with her LD based on certain compositions. Now, I'm assuming with Ursula here that she's going to do something with the band abilities from Final Fantasy IV The After Years, where you have certain characters or weapon types in this case for Opera Amya or abilities that trigger, and you get certain combo chain attacks off of it. I know that's a lot to ask for, considering that that pain just dropped. We just got the whole team composition mechanic actually mattering at this point in the game. That's a little much to ask for from my side, but it's something I am hoping for. Let's go ahead and see what's going to happen here. Also, for anything else, I did manage to get the images of the, of the buffs ahead of time and effects. So I do actually have the translations, rough translations, up on, on hand uh, thanks to Google Translate use, and set, setting up my images to get them translated. Okay, do you need it to set? Alrighty. Ah! Awesome. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. So her LD looks to be about a four to five hit brave group brave melee into split damage HP AoE attack. So what I'm assuming here in this situation is so I'm uh, so what I'm uh, expecting here is like maybe a good 100 percent 180 percent overflow approximately after LD boards and things of that nature. Uh, looks like it's executed two or three times from what I saw here. So about three HP dumps, which is pretty good. And she does appear to have the the offensive support the offensive armor, so we'll see what, what happens here. Now this buff from what I have here on Rough Translations is a 12 turn buff called Pride inherited from my father. This grants the following effects to all allies to the party. Increase brave, increase brave overflow. Brave gain overflow by twenty percent. It also increases the brave damage, uh, increased brave damage of thirty percent to the party, and increases the party's HP damage by twenty percent. So that's pretty strong. Also, the Brave of All Allies, um, Brave of All Allies, will not drop less than twenty percent of their of their max Brave. That's pretty. So that's pretty much like any Rohab based buff. So it's pretty pretty great, honestly. I actually like it. It also does look like here, any action. Within the order of allies, other than yourself or enemies, uh, looks yeah, it looks like this buff also allows Ursula to skip turn order to the front as long as an enemy decides to make an action. So that's pretty strong. She she has some slight turn shenanigans, but she goes ahead and 
jumps only after they move. Sounds about right. That's pretty good, honestly. I, I like it. I like it here. Now, for this specific question, from what I'm seeing here, this is the... Um, this is going to be the... Uh, The, the confusing part, and we'll probably need more information on this. So from what I'm seeing here, after using L, the LD ability, Grip Red Leg, um, it's a rough translation from Google, it changes to Fine Break until the HP slash plus slash plus plus are used twice. If you do, use Delicate Destruction Plus two, so that is so it gives a special HP command called Delicate Destruction, and it gives you two uses, similar to Lena's Giant's Potion, Dragon's Breath, LD ability, where it gave her three uses. This adds this grants twenty percent of Ma of Ursula's Max Brave to all allies, and inflicts, get this, one hundred percent of current Brave as HP damage to all enemies. And this does an additional HP dump for every ally in your and for every other ally in your party. So in this case, because you have three allies, this is like Charlotte's skill two ability where you get HP dumps based on current brave. However, it doesn't consume brave. And it also does straight up 100 percent splash. This is much stronger than what Charlotte can already do. And this is also technically stronger than Lenus. Um it's technically stronger than Lena's Dragon's Breath command. Because while Lena does HP damage based on HP on current HP from the total party, it does split damage. This is straight 100 percent damage, and this can actually cap like fully up to like the max maximum stacks. I think from what Ursula had was like 125k damage. And this grants Brave to all allies who don't, and it doesn't consume it. This also appears to extend the buffs by one action. And then once it goes ahead and, once you go ahead and use those two, those two um, skill uses, it goes back to its regular HP, HP+, plus, HP++ plus plus command, depending on what your prerequisites already met. I'm a bit confused here with that it's turning into Fine Break. This is, this might be... Something different. Um, so we're gonna need more information when that information. We're gonna need more information when it drops, at that point. But that's really about it at that point. So we'll see what happens. I don't know if that's still playing. As far as I know, there's a delicate destruction. Yeah, it was almost a triple tap. Okay, interesting. So, I'm going to turn right because I'm going to go. 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 That, that definitely Crimson Star five, uh, five star Crimson Palm, the band attack between Yang and Ursula when she's using Tenketsu. That's definitely what that is. I do suppose it is otherwise. That's an interesting boss mechanic. I'm sorry. Hold up. Rewind that. What just happened? So, so, instant turn rate. It looks like there's a fixed brave gain as a second one. And then there's another brave gain, I'm assuming based on max brave or attack. Something along those lines. But that secondary gain, maybe that's just based on 100% of attack. I don't know for sure. Or it could be based on I Brave. I don't know, actually. That's interesting, but that's pretty strong from what it looks like. And being a 
So it looks like the orb also went up after she after she went. So it looks like the the orb could be one of two things here. Either it's instant turn rate, which is akin to what Titus's orb was back when he his BTLD debuted, or it could be deal deal HP damage without doing brave hits. So in a situation like this, this could probably this could if you don't want to pull for Ursula because of her mechanics and also because we have crystal level 90 as well as the next BTLD dropping as well as ultimate weapons dropping and all these other stuff coming up very soon on JP within the next couple of days. We have Porum, Lena, and Charlotta as substitutes for this. Obviously you'd want to use Porum and Lena in this case because they're they're way more catered to this considering that a lot of the has a CAD but she doesn't even have an LD. In terms, and if if you do pull for Ursula, well, more power to you. Got the destruction again. And this one's straight cap. And this looks. Alright, so this is a four. Yeah, so it's a four hit AoE Brave into HP attack three times. So yeah, four hits, not bad. That's pretty good. And then the at. And then it looks like a party aura for two actions where you don't go below 10% of your brave, uh, max brave, individually. Looks like you also get increased brave and HP damage up. Uh, looks like maybe... I'd like to say maybe 10% in this case, kind of like what the aura is under it. And then probably above is like brave gained overflow. That's what I'm here. So that So we're gonna go back here. This looks great honestly. I think So honestly, at this point, I think Ursula could be a pretty good character for those who probably missed Porum, who likely missed Lena. Oh boy, if you missed Lena and Porum, I feel really bad because those are Porum is still used to this day in JP, despite her LD coming out several months ago at this point. Maybe like four months ago at this point, uh, maybe three months. I don't remember too well. And Lena's LD is just. It's a godsend. It's amazingly powerful. Especially with Lena's rework on top of that. Ursula seems to be a really great substitute for both Porum and Lena if you don't have either of them. And if you have Lena or Porum and you mix Ursula along with them, that can really, really deal some insane combinations. I'm thinking I'm thinking about pulling for Ursula and going more along the lines of a Lena Ursula Pain combination. And just taking advantage of Pain's buff auras while allowing Ursula and Lena to do their their HP damage shenanigans. That's about it for me at this point. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if everything goes well. Please uh, comment down below if you guys managed to pull for Ursula's LD. If you did so, how m let me know like how many how many tickets or gems you spent on it. I'm assuming most, if not, I'm assuming nine percent of the of the player base is going probably tickets for this, unless unless she's a favorite and you're or you're a ver or you're a Final Fantasy IV Advent fan. Who boy, I mean like that point you would want to go balls deep for it. But yeah, ahí está bien. Hasta luego.